Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the Cordell Hall Foundation for International Education. Let's just call it CHF because that name's a mouthful, right? This foundation is a J-1 visa sponsor that doesn't charge any program fees. That's right, free J-1 visa sponsorship for you, my teacher friends. So stick around till the end of the video and I'll cover the eligibility criteria, documents you need, fee schedules, subject areas, and the application process. But before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on my channel and give my Facebook page a follow if you haven't already. And I've got this awesome book entitled A Foreign Teacher's Guide to U.S. Teaching Application that I have written. If you grab a copy, it comes with a year of coaching from me. Currently, it's only available to the Filipinos. So check out the description below for more details if you are interested. According to the CHF website, and I'll quote it, the Cordell Hall Foundation based in New York City has been sponsoring exchanges for the last 72 years, allowing foreign teachers to obtain J-1 visa status to work for one to three years with possible extension for a fourth and fifth year. Being non-profit, we strive to make it as affordable and painless as possible while making sure the school and teachers stay in compliance with the regulations. Cordell Hall is one of those visa sponsors that would accept application from teachers who got a job offer from a school on their own. So this is what we call self-placement. If you're new to the whole process, there are two ways to get a teaching job in the U.S. on a visa. You can either apply directly to visa sponsors like Cordell Hall or apply directly to school districts. It's totally up to you. But if you choose to apply directly to schools, there's a chance you might find a school that wants to hire you but doesn't sponsor visas. That's when you need to look for a visa sponsor like CHF. Not all visa sponsors have a program that lets you place yourself in a job, so keep that in mind. Let me read to you what's on their website regarding the self-placement thing. Teachers may find job opportunities by attending international job fairs in the country of origin or researching teacher personal search firms on the internet. Or you can apply directly to school districts from their website. If you wish to target a certain city or region and obtain a teaching job offer, CHF will then consider setting up a teacher exchange program with the school or district if it is near an existing one in that state or in a large city there is an established exchange teacher program. In that event, Please have the school or district contact us directly. We do not allow individual teachers to cover the costs of CHF exchange teacher sponsorship. The school, district, or state will set up a CHF J-1 visa teacher exchange program if there is not already an existing one. Schools must be primary or secondary accredited educational institutions in the United States. School exemption from certification does not apply in this case. The school, district, or state must cover CHF sponsorship costs. Note that as of 2018, the U.S. government asks J-1 visa sponsors to collect some documentation from state departments of education. Be sure to contact us a few months before the start of the school year if you are new to make sure we can gather the documents needed for a public school in time. Private schools are usually okay. The process of representing a new school to sponsor a teacher in J-1 visa status is rather complicated and can take more time than any unsuspecting person would reasonably expect depending upon the state. So if you obtained a job offer and are looking for a visa sponsor, you can contact CHF, but whether they will accept you or not depends on factors like time and readiness of the school or school district to set up the sponsorship with CHF. Obviously, you can submit an application directly to CHF, which, in my opinion, is a more efficient approach to securing a teaching position on a J-1 visa. 
upon review of your qualifications and determination of suitability, CHF will facilitate an interview between you and the school principal. The application form may be downloaded from their official website. Let's talk about eligibility. All conditions are necessary in order to qualify. J-1 visa federal regulations require foreign teachers to Number one, qualify to teach in K-12 through schools in their country of nationality or last legal residence. Second, have two years full-time teaching experience at least. Third, satisfy the standards of the U.S. state where they teach. Fourth, be fluent in English. Fifth, be of good reputation and character. Sixth, teach full-time, 32 hours per week minimum in the U.S. Number seven, possess the equivalent of a U.S. university degree of four years in education or subject taught. Eight, be currently working as a teacher in home country or country of last legal residence. Ninth, exchange intent to come to the U.S. for the purpose of exchange, not work. Teachers cannot work as a principal, intern, tutor, counselor, coach, librarian, curriculum coordinator, or in any staff position other than classroom teacher, 32 hours per week. 11. Have worked in J-1 teacher visa status in the U.S. during the previous two years. And number 12. Work in daycare schools. Note that these are federal laws and are not flexible. Before I break down the associated fees, let me invite you to check out these videos on my channel. I basically covered every single topic that a teacher who wants to teach in the U.S. needs to know about. So feel free to check this out later if you're curious. Teacher costs associated with the J-1 program. Sponsorship fee zero. Teachers do not pay the sponsorship fee with CHF, recruitment fee $0, no charge for recruitment, and CHF does not work with recruitment agencies. U.S. government fees, I-901 or service fee, which is $220 payable to service, embassy fee of $185 payable when scheduling U.S. embassy appointment, public or charter school district's initial teacher license, from $100 to 250 US dollars. This will vary by state. Background check through Identigo, $59. Credential evaluations, translations, or other document services, which could be from 185 to 400 US dollars. For foreign credentialing agencies, unlike most J1 visa sponsors that prefer Spantron or WES, CHF accept FCE from the following providers. Foundation for International Services, Spantron, Academic Credential Evaluation Institute, Center for Applied Research, Evaluation and Education, Inc., Educational Credential Evaluators, Inc., Global Credential Evaluators, Inc., International Education Evaluations, and they offer discounts at a five-day turnaround time, International Education Research Foundation, World Education Services, or WES. All right, that's the Curdle Hall Foundation for you guys. Next time, I will be discussing another J-1 visa sponsor. I've already made videos about FACES and Interlodge. These two visa sponsors are also without program fees, so definitely check that out too. It's always a good idea to know all your options. You will definitely be able to tell which one offers the best sponsorship, but I'm not going to tell you which one is the best. That's totally up to you. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!